Welcome to section 1.5, Geometry with Mr. Polarski. Today's examples or problems are going to be related to the addition segment, the segment addition postulate and the roller postulate. So let's get started. If the measure of segment GJ is equal to 32, find the value of each of the following. This is an application of the segment addition postulate. We are given that the length of segment GJ is 32. GJ is made up of the two smaller segments GH and HG. From the segment addition postulate, we would know that GH, or the measure of segment GH, plus the measure of segment HG is equal to the measure of segment GJ. What we do from here then is replace each one of these segments with the expression or numbers that represent them. GH is represented by 3G, HJ is represented by X plus 16, and GJ we were given a measure for and that was 32. So we replaced the G measure of GJ with 32. We solved this equation. First we combine like terms, 3X plus X is 4X, and we write down the rest of the equation. Next you will subtract 16 from both sides. That will leave you 4X is equal to 16. And finally you're going to divide each side by 4, which tells, that, tells us that the value of X is equal to 4. If you wanted to find the measures of GH and HG, you would substitute 4 into X. So for GH we would substitute 4 and for the X to give us 3 times 4, therefore the measure of GH is equal to 12. You could do the same for the measure of segment HJ. Find the coordinate of B if the measure of segment AB is equal to 8 and the coordinate of A is negative 2. So we're going to plot point A on the number line at negative 2. Now if the measure of AB is 8, that means there's going to be two possible solutions here. And that does mean the, right there, AB is equal to 8 means the measure of segment AB. So we know it's 8 units long. So we start at the point A, and we're going to count 8 units to the right. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's one possible coordinate for B. And to find the other, we're going to move 8 units to the left. Which would put us at, and that should be a negative 10 there. And the negative 10 should actually be a positive 10. So we have two possible coordinates for point B. One possible coordinate would be negative 10, and the other possible coordinate would be a positive 6. And that's because we can move either left or right on the number line. And on to the last problem, if AC is equal to 62, find the value of, which we need to find the value of X, and then we need to find the length of AB and segment BC. Since each of the segments AB and BC are represented with the same algebraic expression, B bisects or is the midpoint of segment AC. Therefore, the measure of AB is going to be equal to the measure of BC. And since we know the length of AC, the length of the entire segment, all we're going to have to do is divide that length in half to find the measures of AB and BC. So you see me writing here AB is equal to BC, which is equal to AC divided by 2, which would give us 62 divided by 2, which is 31. So the measure of AB and the measure of BC is 31 because B is the midpoint. So AB, the measure of AB and the measure of BC are going to be equal to each other. To find the value of X, we use the knowledge that either AB or BC 
is represented with the algebraic expression 3x minus 4, and we set that equal to the 31 that we calculated in the first part of this problem. Now we just have an equation to solve. We solve it by adding 4 to both sides, leaving us with 3x is equal to 35, and we divide both sides by 3. So x is going to be equal to 11 and 2 thirds, or 11.6666 repeating, or 11.7 if we round the value. I hope this video has helped you. If it has, please feel free to leave a comment or a rating. And if you are one of my students, you want some bonus points, write down my name like this. Instead of the PI, use the PI symbol, PI-LARSKI. Thank you.